That's what I'm saying. That's dicey. That's dicey, everyone. Do a flip. <laughs> <laughs> It shoots like a goddamn Mack truck yeah. compared to that thing. Seriously, it's not its not even the same ballpark. Have you ever noticed when you sit in the back of the truck how much the truck drops? Yeah. Compared to when I sit in it? Yeah, it's called body weight. I weigh more than you, so therefore... A lot more. Well, I mean, not a lot. I mean, another 100 pounds. Dude, you know I'm taking a trip to Shredtown right now, and you know it. Shredtown? Shred what are you, Guy Fieri? I'm... What are you like the about? gay version of Guy Fieri? How did what? Because he goes to Flavor Town. You're going to Shred Town. I'm going to Shred Town. I'm the mayor. Oh, jeez. Running for town council. You're the mayor of Shred Town. I'm running for town council. You got next stop mayor. It's still a soft COVID body, so you better start lifting, dude. The lats, the lats. Just I could walk, dude. You My know. wife has a more developed upper body than you do. Okay, <laughs> everyone, calm down. All right, so. That is true. We're back. Uh, show has not been canceled yet. This is all good news for Why us. Why yet? I don't know. It just feels inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what just... is this, the Titanic? And we know we're going to hit an iceberg? At <laughs> some point, the ship's got to clip that iceberg, you know, where you're like, ah, damn, we went too far. Um, it, w today might be that day. I, I don't know, but because today we're talking about the, uh, the, the CZ Scorpion. Look, some fuds are for sure gonna get mad. We're talking about the CZ Scorpion, and this is a gun that has a massive uh, sort of fan base and uh, a, a big base of people who are fudsy, loyal to it. And uh, so I don't know. What I here's what I know. Here's what I know is that we give our honest opinion on shit, and it doesn't matter if something was. Uh, given to us or if we Purchase. bought it or if it was sent on loan now this particular case this was was sent on loan from actually from one of our patreon yeah. subscribers which is very nice of them sometimes we very, are very nice everyone doesn't need to do this all at once especially if it's about shitty guns but sometimes people are nice enough and they're like hey i have this thing i'd be willing to send it in and let you guys do a review on it and it's very nice and it does help us out because it gives us cool stuff to talk about that we don't have to purchase um so there's that. So thank you. I won't call him by name in case he wants it private, but uh, thanks to the homie from Patreon that sent out this and then uh, one more gun today that we're reviewing. And we will give you a fair shake on yeah, this. Yeah, can I, can I give a brief caveat before we get into it? Oh, yeah. Look, I say the fudsy thing or whatever. Like, look, we shot this next to... Can I list off? Like, sure. MP5, MP5K, B&T with B&T mags, B&T with Glock mags. Not that that matters. I'm just giving you an idea no um, but we're gonna have some reference points uh with this bnt so you know like that's my uh bnt that yeah. it's been in plenty of content you guys have seen that chris has got his bnt his couple uh sp5s back here so it's like look this is allegedly a budget sub gun yeah. um which i'm gonna dispute but it it was going up against some very high-end stuff and hey we'll, we'll give it a fair shot but it's probably going to be a little there's going to be some peaks and valleys which, some peaks and valleys. We're just being things. honest. We don't want to hurt the guy's feelings that, you know, we were very, very grateful you let us borrow this gun. No, oh, no, he's not going to give a shit. Yeah, but I just want to make sure. CZ you know. might, you know, CZ might, but, or the CZ uh, forum leaders or whatever. But, um, all right, so here's the deal. Um, super, super quick. Um, fast forward if you don't want to hear anything that would actually help us out. Or support the channel. Um, in yeah, any way, so, hey, look, there's different ways you can support the channel. Patreon would be one that's just a... Uh, 
It's uh, just donating to say, here's a couple bucks. We appreciate it. Um, our day gig, sort of the day-to-day -day gig of the 1911 Syndicate has actually always been a real estate company. It's, it's you know, we work with shooters and hunters and a lot of mill Ellie guys, shit like that. Bomb techs, actual client right now yeah. and all kinds of cool stuff. And, and just um, solid human beings. Solid human beings, right? So there is, uh, there is that. And then, um, hey, we'll have a link to a couple of different companies that uh, we work with down in the description. And whether it's slings or some uh, cool apparel and shit like that, hey, you can use our... Promo code, save a couple bucks. We make a couple bucks, everyone's happy, right? So, and slings, slide tactical, promo code for uh, apparel, US Elite gear. That'll all be linked beneath. Yeah, we'll have it all below. Right. Um, so, the Scorpion, there's, there's gonna be much to, uh, to talk about here. So, it's a budget PCC. PCC stands for? Pistol Caliber Carbine. Right, which would be more of the, you know, kind of technical term versus subgun. And this would technically be... be a PCP, not the drug, Pistol Caliber Pistol. Because that's a pistol. Pistol brace on this bad boy, right? I just made that up. That is a, uh, it is true. wasn't it? Yeah, PC, PCP. Technically, yeah. it's not a carbine. It's true, actually. That's it's a not good crystal point. meth, it's pistol calvert. Pistol. Might have started something there. Yeah. Yeah, you might be onto something. Um, and they say it's budget, and it kind of sort of is. We'll get to that point as we go through price points and all that kind of stuff. But specifically, so this one is the uh, Scorpion. There's different Scorpion models, okay? There's full length and there's short guys, and then there's... Um, different, a couple different handguard options. This specific one, in case you need to look it up, is the Scorpion Evo 3 S2 pistol with folding brace. That's, From that's, SB Tactical. Yes. Um, and uh, hey, hopefully things stay good in pistol brace land. Um, yeah. What this is, this is the shortest variant of the uh, Scorpion. So there is another uh, pistol or, or shorty version of it that is a little bit longer. And then there's some full length, you know, rifle variants, although to have a rifle length variant of a nine mil gun seems a little ludicrous because it's like, well, isn't it? I don't know, a little, little weird, but hey, you you do your thing. If it makes you happy, that's all, all we care about your happiness. That, that's it. I guess what could the argument be? So you have Tommy guns, which are a full length pistol caliber, 45 ACP. 45, you know. That could be like the nine mil Tommy. I guess. It's just, I'm grasping at straws here. I'm just goofy. trying to be nice to the guy. So. Yeah, it's just weird. Um, but, uh, there's a uh, there's another pistol variant. That one's seven and three quarter inch uh, barrel, so it's a little bit longer. So, long story short, this is the shortest version. The basics of this bad boy. So it does come with the SP Tactical pistol brace. So very very simply, folds out of the way. Um, Still can fire that way. Yeah, there's a problem though that I literally haven't noticed until right now, which is half the damn ejection port is blocked. Malfunction. Um, that's a problem and literally have not, see this is this is why we go live and we just give you the real deal live. Um, that ejection port is, is a solid 50% block. It's gonna be dicey. So yeah, you could you could fire it from here. You could just lay down probably lead. Probably one round. Right, yeah, for like a round or two until something bounces back in maybe and you know, then we got a problem. So you're gonna wanna flip that brace out and uh, throw that bad boy around your forearm <laughs> and you're gonna wanna <laughs> pistol brace that kind of shit. Yeah. Feel like I'm gonna get chewed up on that one. Yep. Um, so it's a direct blowback firearm, and that is very, very apparent when you fire it, as we will talk about as it goes. So it's a very um, basic mechanism, I, I think would be the best way to put yeah, it. Rudimentary, Neanderthalish type. Yeah, but it does work, and it is reliable, which is why even in today's world of fancy shit, grab that bad boy. Um, even if you look at the Gucci sub guns like the uh, B&T, aka Bruger and Thomet, APC-9 Pro, um, that's also a direct blowback firearm. Now, fuck it, we'll just go ahead and get into this. So, A um, little different. It's a totally, totally different animal. So you go like, okay, well, they're both direct blowback. Yeah, so B&T uses this um, like proprietary hydraulic buffer system. On top of a recoil spring. Yeah, and it eats up a lot of the recoil. Um, this, I mean, significant. Oh, significant. That's a very soft shooting gun, especially for a direct blowback firearm. Yeah. This is the polar opposite of that. Um, this, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys, I get it's direct blowback. It's very reliable. Don't shoulder that, please. It's not. It's it's a collarbone. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's on my delt as shred, you know? I got delts now. Um, traps, traps, delts, all kinds of shit. A lot of front, all kinds of stuff, man. You don't want to know. Um, but here's the deal. This is not sophisticated blowback technology. Um, this thing, it's like, what am I shooting? I mean, it, it's so harsh in terms of the recoil for what this 
caveat for what it is, okay? Yeah, could you go get an elephant gun and it has more recoil? Yeah, you could. You shoot an elephant in the face, right? This is that where you is shoot an elephant? I don't know. <laughs> Do you shoot an elephant in the face? I hope not. I don't know. I don't hunt elephants. I could. You know, fun don't. fact about elephants: when they see humans, it's the same reaction in their brains as when we, as humans, see puppies. Is well, that that's not, just adorable. Is that not cute? I don't even want to shoot an elephant I anymore. Know. I don't want to I shoot an elephant. I read that and I was like, that's one animal I won't it's kill. It's fucking adorable. Isn't that, they look at us like puppies. I would be intrigued to know what like an elephant burger tastes like, though, if I'm being honest. I'll eat the shit out of almost anything, so. Um, but, like, look, yeah, there's guns that recoil harder, but, I mean, for a 9 mil like, PCC gun, I mean, th this thing recoils like it's a fucking caged animal that's just trying to rip out of the cage. I mean, yeah. it's like, what is going on here? My shoulder, if I were to shoulder fire that, is the smallest amount of sore you could be from shoulder firing that. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's strange, guys. And I know, and I already know what's coming, like, fucking pussies, nine moments. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I, I get it. But, like, look, we have to compare things to other things that are similar. And if you go, look, these are both direct blowback firearms, shoot both. You tell me one's not dramatically more pleasant to shoot. Um, so, look, it is blowback firearm. Um, We've got a four inch barrel on this, a very, very short barrel, even shorter than like the uh, MP5K, which is a uh, four and a half inch barrel. This guy. Cold hammer forged barrel. So that's good. You are going to have a tough barrel that's going to, you know, it's going to be wear a and tear. solid yep. barrel. No, no complaints with that. You have this flash can muzzle device is what they call it. And it's odd because what is it like? What we don't it? know. They don't know. Nobody quite knows. Maybe someone knows, but I'm sure that the CZ folk will, will get in there and, and do their thing. Um, but, like, what is it? It's not a brake. It's definitely not that. It's not a flash hider, because I see flash coming out during the daylight in the desert. So, like, but what is it? It's like, like a blast mitigation device, like the Surefire Warden. <sighs> yes, ish. Go with me on this real quick. Yeah. However, yeah. our beloved cameraman Chris was pointed say. out yeah. we shot the LWRC I-45 sub gun literally a year ago exactly at this time last May mm -hmm. and uh, that gun thumps but it's 45 yeah crispy pointed this out as the cameraman working in in around behind us that he has almost the similar like concussion from this gun as yeah. he did that 45 yeah now it science wise we could figure that out but it's just shocking that like a small little nine mil has the thud that that big old fat 45 round. Yeah, is. and like, look, that muzzle device is is, is not helping anything. Um, underneath that, you do have a thread of barrels, so you got half by 28 thread standard thread pitch. So hey, you could add a suppressor to this. It's going to be direct thread only. So that would be another. I would chalk it up as a con, which is that I don't have three lug. Every other sub gun out here, granted, different price points, but like they do also have three lugged. Uh, barrels, and it's just a more pleasant way to run suppressors yeah. on this shit. And there's three lugs that you can buy that thread on to half by 28? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. And yeah, then yeah, you yeah. could lock, you know, sure. lock tight it or use rock set and then throw a suppressor on there. Yeah. But again, money on top of money on top of money yeah. for a entry, quote, entry level yeah. sub gun. Yeah, Ex exactly. Um, this handguard is, is uh, I don't know, this handguard is, is something. So it's an M-Lock handguard. It's from uh, HB Industries. What is it? It's a handguard. It's thick, is what it is. It's, it's chunky. Boy. It's just chunky, right? Thick. Like, I mean, the girth on this bad boy, like, I, you know, I mean. Reminds me of that Sig Virtus handguard. Yes. You know? The difference is that handguard is purpose built because of the piston system and it has different cutouts and stuff strategically so that you can adjust pistons. I'm tracking. This ain't got none of that. Nah. Like, this is just. A barrel. Why? Like, what? why did this need to be this, this big? It just seems. Totally unnecessary. Um, you do have the M lock, so like, sure, you can attach shit um, both underneath, basically three, three, six, and nine. Not on twelve. You got a uh, pick rail up top. top. But um, look, it's a, it's a thick handguard. The charging handle is probably one of the more interesting features. It's non-reciprocating, but it has all kinds of weird, interesting stuff. So I'm just gonna kind of take you through a couple of things here. So right now, you will notice. So. There's all kinds of variables here. So let's do, uh, so I'm gonna go dry fire that. So if the gun is unsafe and the charging handle's forward, notice that? What's going on with that? If, the, if it's unsafe, 
I can't rack the charging handle. Okay, so I noticed that when we were shooting it, it's just an extra safety feature. I guess. Like it, it, Cause it, it's not allowing the hammer to go back, which wouldn't allow the so, charging handle to reciprocate. Right, so if the mag's in, does this change? I don't think it does from memory. Nope, so you can't, even with a mag in, you can't rack this. Now if there's a round in there, I'm sure you can, but on a- I, I don't think you can. Really? Only one way to find out. We'll do this safely, everyone. Everyone keep it together. Yeah, Ooh. We ain't got ear pro on. I'm trying to blow ears out. Okay, so this is a live experiment. We go mag. The hammer is forward, I'm unsafe. Can I rack this? I cannot. Yeah, I don't think so. Why? That's so weird. That's so weird. Let's just make sure and we are clear. So as soon as you go on fire, no problem. I can rack this now, right? So I could rack around like that, or I've got this very MP5-ish thing where I can basically rack the charging handle back, go up, and now I've got my charging handle racked forward and what's, interesting is that I can basically drop it like an MP5. Can just... you on safe? I believe so. Okay. Yes. Can you on an empty mag on safe? No, no you cannot. So there, there's so many nuanced quirks of this. So it's like basically, okay, it, it went forward, but now I would have to shift over to the actual mag release. That's an empty mag, but let's just make sure. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, the nuances of this thing are, are extreme. So there's weird stuff going on there. People are gonna get so mad in the comments. Like, well, it's because of this and this and this. Look, there may be a reason behind it. The simple like manual of arms is a little, it's taken the MP5-ish manual of arms and made it a slight more difficult. Yeah, um, yeah. Now you do have last round uh, bolt hold open. So that's fan good, of, right? At least, at least that. you know when you're out because you're gonna feel that just, just clunking shit around. And that's the other thing is when this thing's racked back, it's so, I, I mean, MP5, you gotta slap it slap or really fish. hit it. I mean, this. Pinky. Oh, I mean, if you blew on that hard enough. That's all I did. I just pinkied that shit in the battery, right? So it's like, it's so loose, you just, whoops. Okay. Like, I mean, it's just nothing. It's like, I actually need more tension than this. It's odd, okay? It, it, it's odd, and that is what it is. Bolt does lock back, that's good. Um, why don't we talk about the trigger? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> you know. Here's what it is, it's a trigger. Um, it is a trigger, and- um, It's there, and that's all we're gonna say. And it's probably the worst trigger I've ever felt in my entire life. Uh, maybe only to be beaten by the BNT TP9, um, Gosh, which is atrocious. atrocious. This thing is, so it's single stage in the sense that like, look, there's there's no take up, okay? There's no take up. Are you pushing that hard and it's not tripping? Really? S just went. The weight on this trigger is God knows what. It is, pull, 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 I mean, it, it, it's heavy to the, try fire that fucking trigger. It, I mean, it, it's it's an insult to, to triggers. Um, Ugh. And then Ugh, it's a sad. Everyone trigger. likes to talk about reset, which you should be resetting as it's re recoiling anyways. Yeah, but I get it. It's a sad trigger. It's a sad trigger. Huh. And and look, one thing that I will say as a pro for the the Scorpion, it has a wide wide aftermarket support. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of different shit that you can do. Now that's going to impact your price, which we'll get to in a moment here. Which but, my argument to that is. This could be argued for Glock or whatever, but if there's a big aftermarket part, it's because the main company that's making it is not doing enough to make that platform. Great, so you don't want to do anything. Yes. Adequate. Yeah, out of the box, you're just conceding you're going to dump another grand, 15, 2,000 into this thing. Well, I don't think you need to put two grand into it, but you're going to get it to 2,000 for sure. Which I think we're going to cover this later, but we're yeah. already at price point. So that buys a lot of other options. Yes. Um, We'll we'll get back to that. So tr triggers atrocious. Um, does have an ambi safety, which hey, there we go. There's a feature out of the box. Um, it's at a strange angle. Uh, the the safety on these is it's not bad. It's not a problem, but it's at a weird angle. Like it's it's like hey, the safe position is like what a normal fire position might be, and then it's a very short throw to get down to fire. It's just I, I, it's not really a complaint. It's just again 
unique and a tad bit odd yeah. is what I would say. Um, the Ambi Mag release, also an odd choice. So it's not a, it's like it wants to be a paddle, but it didn't have like the, the guts to be a paddle. Um, so you have to either push it with your trigger finger or use your support thumb to basically push and strip. Um, yeah. So, so we can either go, we're, we're clear over there. There's no one over there. So no one freak out. I can either push forward with my trigger finger and drop Max it. typically drop freely, not all the time, but typically yeah. drop free. Or the safe bet. As I reload, grab it with my thumb, much like you would an MP5 yeah. paddle yeah. and drop it. Mm -hmm. So it, I just wish it had been a paddle. Just give me the paddle. Yeah. Not this weird little like seashell thing. I, I, I'd rather have a paddle personally. I think that again might be an upgrade you can do because there's a wide aftermarket support. Um, the bolt release, I don't have an issue with, even as a, for those of you who don't know who are new to the show, uh, I'm a lefty. Uh, the bolt release is not ambi, but it is very big and intuitive. So I've had no issues on reloads, like with just my trigger finger. Mag goes in, drop the bolt, and now I'm, now I'm back on gun. Um, so I don't really have any complaint. It'd be cool if it was ambi, but not a, not a big deal because it's pretty intuitive. Standard mags, um, I actually, well, we're gonna hit a point on the mag, damn. About to be a good point, and then I thought of the caveat. Yeah, well. Um, so the standard CZ mags are, are 20 rounds, and then Magpul does have these uh, those 35ers. 35. I like 35. That's cool. are they 35 or 34? 30, I think five. 35. Um, so you know, you, you got some 20s if you need to go low profile. You got 35s if you just want to fucking rock and roll. You know, um, I like the mags. The mags do have one problem that we discovered earlier, and that problem is there's a little ledge right here on. The back side of the mag. I'm sure this is how it locks in, indexes, whatever. If you're running a chest rig and you have a longer mag or this mag and you insert it past the insert. If you just throw it all the way into your chest rig. When you go to pull out this little flange, phalange, whatever yeah. that is, catches, and you'll see in the video, we'll cut this into the footage, we're both like, and then it rips free, right? Because yeah. this little 90 degree angle right there gets hung up on the mag insert in your chest rig. So that's a downside to me. It's a downside. Uh, I would imagine that in something like a, uh, a taco, it's probably not gonna be an issue, but again, you're dealing with nylon, so it's tough to know. You know, it's like you you could hypothetically have an issue there. Kydex, mag holder's not gonna be an issue. But it, it, you know, it, it's a nuanced point. The Magpul 35 round mags are 20 bucks, so that's good. At least they're at a good price point. That is a good. That's a great price yeah. point, in all fairness. Um, da, 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 even on a full, another nice point, because um, again, hey, we'll be totally fair on this. Even on a full mag, you can get that full mag in the gun. Easy. Um, it's not even that There's difficult. There's enough play. It, it's cool. There's yeah. enough play on a full mag. No problem. You can still get that full mag uh, in the battery there. Um, da, 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 da. I'm not sure if that's a factory grip or if that was added after the fact, but it's too long for that gun. It needs a uh, something like it's the, a MOE Evo, so it's made by Magpul specifically for the CZ. Yeah, it needs to be shorter. It needs to be shorter. Yeah, it, it needs so like the the Reptilia uh, CQB grip, which is what I think we both have on yep. our uh, BNTs, is the swap that grip out. Yep. Um, sorry, Magpul. The, uh, there's sling attachments on both sides. So essentially you would just be running like a little piece of paracord yep. through these little like right here. sling loops. And then you would just clip into that. Um, and then you could always run a QD up front if you wanted to go two point. Yeah. Um, okay. So some opinion stuff kind of start wrapping it up here. MSRP in this configuration is 1349. And I hate to break it to everyone, but that's not budget. It's not like, and that's with the pistol brace. And you go, well, yeah, that's with the pistol brace. Yeah, okay, but if you don't get it with the pistol brace, what are you just gonna fucking... Pistol? What are you gonna do? What, what are you gonna do, fella? Like, you you're gonna get to a pistol it. brace, or you you're gonna get a stock. To. Like, like you have no choice. So it's $1,350 $1, gun, and look, the reality is, I expect more at $1,350. $1,350 is not cheap. And like, look, I hate to break it to you, that feels like a cheap gun to me. It doesn't feel like a nice gun. You know what's around the same price? A B&T GHM-9. Uh-huh, I'd take that all day. i take it all day over that. Like, that, the, the, what you get for what you spend is not worth it. Because, and here's the thing, you go, okay, 1350 but look, between trigger and this and that and different things that you have to do, you're gonna wind up at probably two grand. I'm just gonna use two grand as a, as a base point. And you go, well, at two grand, you got plenty of other options. Yeah. And at that point, if I go, shit, if I'm conceding, I'm gonna get to two grand, fuck it, I'll save up to 2300 
and, and get an APC9 APC. Pro. Yeah. Like, I would take that clearly all day. It's night and day difference, even though they're the same philosophy of a direct blowback firearm. Correct. Like, it's not even a close race between those two. Like, it's not a close race. Which, again, let's, let's break that down a little bit further. You spend that type of money, might as well save up for this, which won the SOCOM contract. Was this even entered? I don't know. I'd have to look that up. I don't but know. What I'm saying is, like, they don't fuck around over at SOCOM. They choose things because of reliability. Yeah. So if we're going to... Look, I only shoot my any of my subguns suppressed. Suppressed. I'm going to be honest, they ain't getting cleaned. No. They ain't getting cleaned. It's ill-advised, kids. You should clean your guns. But, like, or have your pay 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 the neighborhood kid to do it. Whatever. How <laughs> you do your shit. But, I'm like... mowing your lawn. Well, the neighborhood kid mows my lawn, too. Um, <laughs> but, like, look, it, it, it's simply... I'm telling you, when you handle these... It does not feel like a nice firearm. It, it feels clunky and... We're sorry to the Patreon guy. It feels brutish. We lost it, a subscriber. It feel... It just doesn't feel like a nice gun. There's so many things that I would do differently with it. And at that price, I simply expect more. Yep. I just expect more. That or... I mean, it's just... Save up a little more. You know, pinch those pennies. Get a fucking b and man. It, you know, I, I would take a, a, ban a Banshee shoots better than this. But with more malfunctions. More malfunctions. <laughs> <laughs> it's a so again, I'm still getting a B and T. This is reliable. I will say that for it. So I, I don't know. I, I know this sounds like a Debbie Downer negative review. I guess it kind of sort of is, but it's like, look, that, that you know, that's that's how the cards fall sometimes. You know. Thank you again to the guy that donated it. We're not trying to be assholes. We are upfront. You know, you follow the content. We're just being honest with our opinions on it. And what do our opinions mean, Jake? Jack shit. Jack shit. Jack on that shit. note, do you have anything else? I ain't got nothing. Have a good day. Be safe.